Hey, I'm Mark Hunter, the sales hunter, selling from the heart. That's the book we're talking about, Larry Levine, who has written this book, great book from a great guy, selling from the heart. I guess I wouldn't expect anything else. Larry, <laughs> talk to us. Why the book? Why now? Hey, Mark, good to see you again. Uh, there's a lot of reasons why it's selling from the heart. I, I'm bringing to the forefront for one simple reason. This was me to the T as a sales professional. I wore my emotions on my sleeves. I rolled it up and I said, you know what? The only way to be is to throw my heart into sales and be the real me. And that's what people are going to find out when they read the book is how to be their real, genuine, authentic self. And I think that's really the missing link in this is we're not selling with the heart. We're not bringing that passion and that enthusiasm. And there's just a bunch of sales fakes out there. Boy, you know what we've, I know you and I have talked about that whole before that this whole passion thing before, but how did custom, how how do people see passion? It's, it, I think it has to come out with you, you know, conviction. You got to believe in yourself and believe in what you do. And it's really interesting because I always ask people, why are you in sales? And, and you get the, yeah. it's always because I want to make a lot of money, right? And I'm just using this as an exaggeration, right? Well, that does come in time. But you really got to love what you do and you got to love the art of the help. And, you know, I do a lot of community service and I think that's where I really learned this whole selling from the heart was giving back to the community and that feel good. So I just gave of myself the same way that I gave in the community. I gave to my clients and my prospects and it just, people can start to see it when you communicate and it's how you drive that message yeah. because people are smart and they're even smarter to BS and they can smell it a mile away and they can smell when you're not sincere and you don't believe in it. You're just a walking, talking, just talk track. So if somebody reads this book and they're not passionate, they're not emotionally engaged with selling, and they read this book, are they going to become passionate? Yes, for one oh. reason. It, it, <laughs> I, I, th I really believe so. For one simple reason is that the first half of the book was written so they can uncover the real you. So what I've done is at the end of every chapter, there's a link that they can download, what I call a self-reflection journal, that takes the theory behind each chapter and it allows them to spend some alone time, self-reflect and answer some questions that they can put in practice. And I, I'm a firm believer, Mark, everybody can be a genuine, authentic person. It's inside of them. It just hasn't been coached out. They don't know what it is. Or, hey, I'm authentic, right? Well, what's that mean? Well, until you spend some time working on yourself, that's why I always say we got to learn our value first before we get visible out there. And too many people are trying to get visible without understanding their value and they're just an empty suit. So the selling from the heart is going to bring out how to be their genuine, authentic self. And then they're going to apply the skills in the last half of the book to get visible out in the marketplace with their clients and their prospects. So what you have is really a flip book. On the one side, it's selling from the heart and you flip it over and it's, and it's therapy for non-engaged salespeople. Great word. I like it. Non-engaged salespeople. And there's a lot of them out there. Yeah, Unfor there are. Unfortunately, there are. And, and that's why... To me, it, it's all about the heart, and I'll keep it really simple, is if you take the heart out of us, we're lifeless. If you take the heart out of a salesperson, you're lifeless. You're, you're just, and people can smell it, and that's what I want to, I mean, it's my goal to bring selling from the heart mainstream, because everybody has it in us. It just needs to be coached out, and it's time that our prospects and our clients deserve the best version of salespeople. That's why I said, you know, there's a big difference between sales reps and sales professionals. We must lead with the heart and not our wallet. Wow. You know, another way to look at it is this is AI protection. You know, if you want to be artificial, artificial intelligence slammed as a salesperson, don't read this book. But if you want to know how this is selling from the heart, really gives you life long after it, it gives you the reason to sell. Yeah. And, and if you just, if, if salespeople just ask their clients, ask their prospects, what do you want from a salesperson? They'll tell you. They'll tell you what they value. They tell you what they want in a salesperson. They'll tell you what they believe in a salesperson, as opposed to us conjuring up in our mind, this is what we should be as a salesperson. Yeah. Yeah. So what, what, what are the two nuggets? What are the two nuggets? People read this book. What are the two nuggets they're going to get out of it? I think the biggest thing is, and I keep going back to this, is they're going to learn how to bring the best version of themselves to the marketplace is one. The second thing is it's going to, they're going to really learn how to take better care of their clients because if they take better care of their clients, they will help them grow their business. 
And then I think the biggest thing they're going to get from it is towards the end of the, it, at the last chapter, I ask readers to develop their own sales manifesto. Ooh. And it's, and it's their proclamation. It's, it's what they believe in. So at the end, they can actually, when they go to sellingfromtheheart.net on my website, they'll be able to download my manifesto. So the last half of the book, in fact, the last chapter, I'm going to encourage them and challenge them to write their own sales manifesto that they can carry with them. They can put it up on their sales bullpen, but more importantly, they can share the sales manifesto with their clients. They can use the sales manifesto with their prospects in the buying process and say, Hey, this is, I always say, this is my pledge of allegiance. This is my pledge of allegiance out into the community. This is who I am. And this is what you can expect. That's neat. So it's really, it's more than a book you read. It's a book you read, you do, you live. Right. And, and I wanted to thank you. And I wanted this book, and this is my first book, Mark, is I wanted to be a book that could stand the test of time. That wasn't going to be some book that you read, you throw it on the shelf, it collects dust. I wanted this book to be something that everybody can carry with them. That's why the self-reflection journal, that's why I'm asking them to do some hard work because sales is great, but it requires hard work and dedication. Wow. That's great. Hey, how, how do people get the book and how do they get in touch with you? The book will be out the middle of September. They can reach, they can reach, obviously they can reach me through selling from the heart.net. They can reach me through the selling from the heart podcast. So we podcast every Saturday. They can find it, you know, through Google and through iTunes, through Stitcher. Uh, they can find me on LinkedIn. I'm always on LinkedIn, Larry Levine, 1992. Great. So, Hey, Larry Levine, selling from the heart, the book you read, you do, you live. And you reread, Mark. And you reread. Sellingfromtheheart.net. Larry Levine. I'm Mark, kind of the sales center. Thanks so much.